Hey everyone, what I'm about to talk to you today is one of the most common thing among entrepreneurs and something that we in the space of growing our businesses, we struggle with at the beginning stages mostly, right? And it's the fact that people around us, especially our family, friends, and people we consider to be close with us, they don't understand our visions, our goals, and why we do what we do, and um, they don't understand the hustle, and it's usually sometimes a very tough period to go through, right? And today I'd like to share with you my experience and something, you know, that I've discussed with my clients and something that I'm always discussing because it is what it is. And at especially the beginning stages, it's going to be a lot of it, right? So here's a quick background story. Um, when I was starting my agency, I was still in high school, you know, and uh, back then it was not a huge deal because... Everyone in my family, everyone when it comes to my friends, um, they saw me, you know, as this kid that is trying this, you know, online business space and who knows if it's going to succeed, right? Like people around me were very supportive. Like I thought I'm so lucky because everyone, my parents, my friends, everyone was supportive. But everything changed when I was about to finish my college, right? Um, my third year of university, I was about to, you know, finish it and then... It all somehow flipped away once I was out of the school system, quote unquote, the system that, you know, uh, just, you know, was programmed for me to learn and give me a good job and stuff like that. Once I was out and I made a declaration that, look, I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to get a job. I'm not going to do my master's degrees. Nothing. Everything started to change, right? Um, my relationships with people around me everyone started to be like super pushy and they were like what are you doing this is crazy go back we don't understand you know get a real job you know online things you know stuff like that it was difficult you know and i tried to show people especially people close to me that look this is actually legit like this works look i have clients i'm you know i'm working every single day i'm seeing traction i'm getting momentum I have results, but it was still not enough, right? Because sometimes these people with average mindset where they believe that nine to five is the way where uni and the school system is the way, they always have this belief like you have to have a plan B, right? Or that, you know, something may happen and you will, you know, lose everything and you will have to get a real job, stuff like that. And also the fears and doubts, they... People around me, they took those fears and doubts and they pushed it on me, you know, like, there you go, take it, right? But one thing that always helped me is to have like a very resilient mindset and having a very compelling vision and a conviction in myself and in what I'm doing. Sometimes it's not easy, right? That's what I tell even my clients, like, look, guys, you have to have a strong conviction and belief and faith that what you're trying to build here, what you're trying to do here is going to work, right? And what we have to do as entrepreneurs, the first thing that I also have done is that we have to block out the noise, the noise of other people, the naysayers saying that, you know, go get a real job. This is, you know, not okay. Inflation is out there. Economy is crashing. Go get a real job so you can be safe, right? We have to block that out or else we'll never, ever achieve any success because... If we're surrounded with people with these beliefs, we are becoming one, right? That's why it's really difficult sometimes to um, change those beliefs and perceptions that we have since we were children, right? Because we were in program something. We were given a software and now we run, our computing system runs on that software. And the computing system is us, right? And we have given this software um, and now we have these thoughts and beliefs about reality about business and if we stay in that and if we listen to the noise of other people saying that this is not going to work or that you should get a real job or whatever then we are going to end up being there right at the bottom never on the top right so yeah i um sometimes it's still not okay you know and that's okay that it's not okay right it's okay that people don't believe in you it's okay that people don't share your beliefs your convictions your vision it's fine you know you cannot expect to change people's beliefs when they were programmed something since they were a child we can do that as entrepreneurs we must do that that's what i coach on like i coach entrepreneurs to change and reprogram those beliefs to beliefs of success you know and have better mindset around that but some people they don't want to do that 
and we cannot expect them to understand us because that will never happen. And I told my client this because he was going through a very similar thing. Like people, um, you know, just didn't understand what he was doing and telling him, like, go get a job, right? And I told him, like, look, just like we entrepreneurs, we don't understand, like, we cannot comprehend the fact that someone would go to a nine to five job for 40 to 50 years, do nothing, like the same work, nothing. And then like do nine to five, then sit behind their TV and watch something for three hours, go to sleep and repeat the cycle for 40 years. Like we cannot even comprehend that, right? And when these people come to us and say that that is the way to live, we cannot understand. So we as entrepreneurs, we cannot understand, we cannot, sorry, we cannot expect for these people with that mindset, we cannot under, expect them to understand what we have, what we see when it comes to the businesses, the opportunities, the potential, the freedom, the time, location and financial freedom. It's really hard to explain. So whenever I get into quote unquote the argument with a person that doesn't believe in what I do or have a different perception of how life should be, I don't explain. I'm even thinking right now about saying that I just work for a company, online company somewhere, like an employee, so I can stop persuading people and explain myself because you don't have to explain yourself. But we have this tendency to always explain ourselves to be validated, right? But we don't have to do that. If you have a strong conviction and a vision for your life, for yourself, and you work hard, you stay consistent, you block out the noise and eventually you will get it. But you won't get it if you let the naysayers and the noise overwhelm you and get into your head, right? That's the only way to fail because ultimately you will stop working. And when you stop working, you start growing, right? So yeah, whenever you are faced with the conversation or you feel like you have to explain yourself why you're wired that way, just don't because it's pointless. I've learned it the hard way. Um, and it's never going to do any good because you cannot push someone, persuade someone to have the same belief system as you do, right? Um, so that's what I wanted to share, guys, with you today to be hopeful, to have faith and belief and conviction in yourself and in your business so you can grow and be successful in your way, right? You don't have to depend on other people, on their opinions, right? On their convictions. You have your own, right? So whenever someone disagrees with, disagree with you, or when you simply just don't see the support on their end, your family, your friends, just let it go. Let it go. Block the noise. Block out the noise. It's okay if they don't understand. Probably they never will. That's why we have online communities, coaching programs, people we can surround ourselves with, right? Go there. Refocus. Put your focus and attention on what you want, not what you don't want, right? Shy away from those people. Find a new group of people that support your vision. That's the only way to grow and it's the only way to succeed, right? Surround yourself with people that believe in you and block out the noise and don't even focus and pay attention on what other people are saying, right? So that's everything from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.